the electric canoe van is here, and it's bringing a completely new aesthetic to the delivery van scene. Unlike the electric vans from Ford, Mercedes and others, the Canoe Multipurpose Delivery Vehicle MPDV, is challenging design norms for what a commercial van should look like. It's slab-sided with flat panels everywhere, and it looks distinctly futuristic in a cyberpunk sort of way. Its massive greenhouse in front should make it super easy to see out of, and the stubby front end looks conducive to easy placement in tight urban spaces. It's all based on Canoe's in-house skateboard platform the company is developing that puts the battery pack in the floor and a single electric motor on the front axle. A modular construction is used so that Canoe can put a number of different bodies atop the skateboard. In the beginning, Canoe will offer the MPDV1 and MPDV2 with the intention of releasing an MPDV3 later on. The vans go up in size and holding capacity corresponding to their number designation. For example, the MPDV1 has 200 cubic feet of space rear of the bulkhead, whereas the MPDV2 has 450 cubic feet of space. The single electric motor makes 200 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. It's the same in both vans. Three battery pack options are available, 40 kWA 130 mile range, 60 kWA 190 mile range and 80 kWA 230 mile range. Those figures correspond to the MPDV1 and all drop by about 30-40 miles respectively when paired with the bigger MPDV2. Canoe only offers an approximate charge time for the 80kWh pack, claiming a 20% 80% charge will take 28 minutes when connected to a DC fast charger. Canoe designed in a number of features to make living with the canoe as a work vehicle pleasant. It features a 240 volt outlet for high power tools, workstations built into it throughout, storage lockers, ramp slide outs for loading, unloading, and a super high roof design for easy walking around within the van. Canoe also claims it will have a number of driver assistance systems that place it at level 2 autonomy, similar to where a number of automakers are right now. Payload maxes out at £1,080 with the smallest 40k W8 battery pack. As you put larger and heavier packs in, payload decreases, going as low as £1,020 with the MPDV2 80k W8 pack version. Canoe envisions a number of use cases for the MPDV vans from small business delivery to food truck use. Canoe decked out its pickup with a host of useful features for work and play, many of which are made possible by the flexibility an electric platform provides. There isn't an engine up front to work around or many of the other bulky mechanical components traditional pickups have. Like in many EVs, there's a front storage compartment where the engine would normally be. But Canoe's frunk also has a fold-out work table. There are also fold-down work surfaces built into the side of the bed. Canoe's pickup comes with a built-in bed extender that lengthens it from 6 to 8 feet, power outlets inside the bed and cargo compartments, and a hidden pull-out step that provides easier access to the bed. The interior comes with two seats up front and a rear area that customers can configure with additional seats or other customizations. With its new pickup, Canoe also takes aim at the outdoorsy crowd that competing startup Rivian is targeting as well. The startup says there will be cargo racks available, along with a variety of camper shells. The pull-out step also doubles as a drawer where Canoe says owners can put their cooler. The truck will be built on the same modular platform as Canoe's other vehicles. The company says the dual motor version will deliver up to 600 horsepower and 550 LBE effort of torque. The truck will also have a payload capacity of 1,800 pounds and at least 200 miles of range, Canoe says. Canoe's truck will compete with a slew of EV pickups slated to hit the market in the coming years.
including the long-awaited Tesla Cybertruck, which caused a stir when it debuted in 2019 with similarly out-there styling. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said in January that deliveries of the pickup will start in 2022. The Rivian R1T and Bollinger B2 are both set to start deliveries in 2021, and electric models from Ford and Chevrolet are also on the way. The LDV190 joins the LDV130, and it sits atop the same platform. Canoe designed the LDV190 with a beefier suspension to handle the heavier loads commonly carried by Class II vehicles. Like the LDV130, the LDV190 uses a patented steering-by-wire system that provides dynamic handling and performance. For maneuverability at slow speed, especially in urban areas, Canoe built the LDV190 with a low center of gravity. Drivers who use the LDV-130 will appreciate the same wheelbase in the LDV-190. Despite the similarities to the LDV-130, the LDV-190 does have a longer body length. The LDV-1 t fits nicely between the LDV-190 and the upcoming MPDV – Multi-Purpose Delivery Vehicle. It has a small footprint and the longest EV range in its segment. Canoe shows off innovative engineering with the rear cargo cartridge in the LDV-190. The patent-pending cargo cartridge features an interchangeable rear door. They can choose a barn door, tambour door, or a split tailgate with a loading ramp. The 5050 barn doors can have 270-degree hinges that fold against the LDV-190 body for easy access to the cargo area. Shoppers can also choose an optional step bumper for easy access to the 172 cubic feet of cargo space. They can also add extra cargo space by choosing the single seat version. Canoe focused on maximizing space and increased safety in the LDV-190. Engineers added an additional LED light for more visibility and support for the increased cargo volume. The company offers optional translucent roof panels for more natural light. Canoe offers available shelving systems and storage bins, along with an optional sliding cargo floor with a £1,000 capacity. Canoe has already signed contracts with a handful of partners. The company signed an agreement with the US Defense Innovation Unit to work in their Jumpstart for Advanced Battery Standardization Program. NASA and Canoe also have a partnership, as Canoe developed and delivered three crew transportation vehicles to bring astronauts to the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. The fully suited astronauts along with the flight support group and their equipment will ride in a Canoe CTV for nine miles to the launch complex. Back in October 2022, Zeba, a fleet leasing provider, agreed to purchase over 5,000 EVs. Approximately 3,000 of them will be Canoe LDVs. Zeba will lease the LDVs to small and medium businesses around the US. Well, if there's one thing our favorite electric vehicle startups have all shared, it's a penchant for innovation. From luxury hatchbacks with third-row seats and SUVs with falcon wing doors, to trucks with gear tunnels and supercar suspensions, to 500-mile sedans powered by 500-plus HP motors, tiny and light enough to fit in a rollerboard suitcase. Now we're adding to that roster the 2024 Canoe Lifestyle Vehicle, a 21-window retrotastic van with mosh pit seating, swappable top hat bodies, and a truly fresh take on vehicle life cycle planning. Is Canoe viable? It's a question worth asking about any EV startup that hasn't yet produced cars yet. And things indeed looked a little shaky last year for the California-based firm. But like Rivian, Canoe is lining up fleet customers to keep the lights on. E.g., Walmart has ordered 4,500 LDVs, or lifestyle delivery vehicles. Unlike Rivian, Canoe will only be selling to fleet customers for the first year of production. Those customers will also hopefully soon include the U.S. military for Canoe's light tactical vehicle that we also reviewed. These fleets will expose the vehicle to harder use than retail families would, 
and so will swiftly and efficiently uncover any remaining development issues prior to the retail launch of the passenger-carrying lifestyle vehicle. Simply climbing aboard is a unique experience. The front doors are wide and rectangular, meaning there's open space right where your head usually ducks under an A-pillar. The rear doors are also wide and swing open on rear-mounted hinges, like on a Rolls-Royce or Lincoln Continental coach door. And as in those cars, the main bench seat is positioned behind the C-pillar, leaving floor space sufficient for practicing yoga or mounting a wheelchair ramp. Premium models get jump seats that mount to the doors, with retractable seat bottoms and full three-point belts. When deployed, their occupants face each other, and unoccupied cushions can serve as ottomans for the outboard bench seat occupants. Two more jump seats fold down behind each front seat back, but they're only for use when stopped, with the front seat backs leaned forward. The rear door windows don't go down, but the rear quarter windows do. And there will be an option to have the little vista windows around the roof perimeter pop open.